Hello, welcome to the Mox Marine YouTube channel. In this video, I am uh, going to do a special topic about the 4.3 V6. This is a uh, 4.3 V6 Mercruiser engine, and the uh, it is a balance shaft engine. That's your balance shaft there, and I believe these were manufactured in 1992 and later. Uh, according to Rock Auto, there is no balance shaft. The rear balance shaft bearing is in here, and there is no bearing for the 1991 listed. It starts in 1992. Um, by the way, this balance shaft is extremely expensive. It's $301 on Rock Auto, so I advise you to keep the one you got and um, clean it up and make it work. Um, this gear here, I believe, is $61. So, you, again, you want to keep these parts kind of close to you so you don't lose them. They're very expensive, uh, even on Rock Auto. I can't imagine what it costs for Mercury. But um, having said that, um, there's a little bit of a problem, uh, I wouldn't say a problem, but um, the marine versions of these engines use, what's, what, use a uh, heavy duty timing set. Uh, this is the gear, and you see uh, how heavy duty and big the uh, sprocket is, or the, the teeth are. And uh, I think it's a 3 8 inch wide chain. And so um, that's what you want. I've, all the marine engines I take apart use these large, these heavy duty chains and, and gears. So I put that's what I put back in my rebuilds. But if you if you were to look up say a 2002 Chevrolet uh, Silverado with a 4.3, you won't get this heavy duty timing set. You'll get a lighter chain. I guess they're trying to save gas, uh, making a little more economy or gas, uh, use less gas while using a lighter chain. But um, all the marine birds use the heavy duty one. So the part number for the 4.3 version is C3211. This is Coy's timing set, and that's what I'm putting on now. That's for the 4.3 V6. You cannot use the V8 version. The V8 version, the same thing is 3-202 SA, but it will not fit. The reason it won't fit is the back of this gear has a, that gear right there has a much wider flange on it than the V8 version. So if you use to try to use the V8 version, this, this gear will, will hit your balance shaft gear. So um, I'm about to install the timing chain and uh, timing set. And then I'll, I'll discuss the time and cover. All right, so this engine is not a Vortec engine. It is a 4.3 block with a balance shaft, but it's a pre-1996 engine. It's, 90, it's, I guess, between 92 and 95. So the bolt holes for the timing cover here, 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 there, there, and on so on. When you take the Vortec timing cover, the plastic Vortec cover, and put on this engine. Not all the holes are used. So this hole's not used, that hole's not used, that hole's not used, and that hole's not used. But what I've done is I've taken the Vortec cover and put soap on the rubber seal and I pushed it against the engine. And you can see that even though the the uh, this is the cover is not technically designed for this engine it does fit it does go around all the holes and there's a flange enough sufficient flange for the uh, rubber seal to seal against the block so it will work on this block and you see how it goes right around the outside it goes around the outside of the bolt holes and it, and it does seal up against it so I'm gonna wipe the soap off I'll scrape some paint off this uh, thing here and put this cover on and this is the Vortec cover and it should fit this uh, old earlier style. The, the other earlier styles used a, a stamped steel cover instead of this uh, plastic cover. But I'm gonna use the Vortec cover on this engine. Should be pretty cool. The one thing I'm worried about is the Vortec, the, the oil pan seal having a, I'm hoping that the, the metal cover and the Vortec uh, cover have the same, uh, same mounting system or, or methodology for mounting the seal on the oil pan. I know the oil pan on this engine is stamped steel and the, the Vortec 96 and upper are aluminum. So use a different oil pan and a different front timer cover. But I'm gonna make the Vortec cover work, I hope. The final thing I wanna say about the 4.3, this 4.3 V6, even though it's, it's not a Vortec engine, but it does use the balance shaft, is that um, you wanna use a new cover, a new front cover uh, for three reasons. One, you get a new front seal with it, and the cover. I think I paid twenty-six dollars for this cover, so you get a front seal with the cover. So there's fifteen dollars worth of money right there. Um, the second reason is um, 
it's relatively cheap, like I said, it's $25, $26, and which saves you time from having to clean the old one. Uh, cleaning parts is one of the bigger labor consumers in building a motor, so if you buy a brand new part, you don't have to clean it. You've saved yourself some labor. And I'm sure your $10 for your labor is well worth it. The final uh, reason, probably the most, most important reason, is um, if you look at the front of the timing cover, it says uh, replace assembly upon removal. They always recommend you replace the front cover every time you uh, take it off. And the reason is the front cover bolts, for the Vortec anyway, are step bolts. This is what you call a step bolt. So when you put this bolt in and it, the, the bolt reaches this step right here, you can't tighten it any further. So it's, it's completely as tight as it's gonna get. And what that means is that the cover is clamped with these step bolts and it can only exert so much clamping force and then it's done. So if the rubber seal, the new front seal is not compressed, if, let's say you reuse the old cover with the step bolts and the front cover has got uh, has been compressed for a long time it no longer springs out you're going to get an incomplete seal from the because you're using step bolts you can't clamp it any tighter so for that reason you should also uh, use a you know, brand new front cover so about to put this front cover on this engine and uh then uh next comes the oil pan thanks for watching